What's going on my fellow Jedi and Padawans? Welcome back to another Jedi gaming video. Now today we are going to be switching it up a little bit content wise since Destiny is in a pretty decent lull until the final shape. Going to be going over some Power World stuff with y'all because this game has got me addicted and I absolutely love it. So I want to share all the things I've learned in my almost 400 hours so far on this game. So we're going to get into it first off with this video for my three bases that I have been using gets us all the materials that we need for crafting ammo as well as just those pal spheres, anything with armor as well. Very easy to get with these three bases as well as using the breeding aspect of this game to make some op pals very quickly so obviously when we start off we are gonna have to place down our first base just in an area near that start which is a good starting spot for you but as soon as you get comfortable get some materials i would move that first base to this area right here which is at the location of negative 356 negative 74 this base right here is what i use for my breeding as well as my farming so you can see inside of this base we got two breeding farms as well as a ranch so we can get those cows and chickens in there to continuously help us to get eggs and milk so we can continuously have the ingredients to make cakes which are important for breeding that's how the pals inside of the breeding pens actually make the eggs now with the farming aspect of this for this i have two wheat fields two of the lettuce patches as well as two tomato with one single berry farm the berries go very very quickly so you're going to get them fast that'll be part of the cake recipe as well as that wheat which we use the two mills to turn into flour which we use for that cake now the reason that we have lettuce and tomato is so we can make ourselves salads because those salads are way way better to feed your pals instead of berries that is because berries don't really give much nutrition to them or sanity at all but a salad will give you 84 in nutrition as well as 11 in that sanity so your pals will be able to work a lot longer and more efficiency when you're cooking these salads over here now on top of that for this i have a bunch of egg incubators around the area because of where this is placed at those coordinates that I said, negative 356, negative 74. There is on the east side of the area is in that warm temperature on the gauge so you can do those eggs that are dragon or fire even the rocky ones when you have a fire next to those incubators when there isn't a fire next to it it is perfectly right in the center on this east side so you can do those grass lightning and normal eggs as well on that side then on the west side of this base it's colder so you can do all of the other eggs at the optimal times those damp eggs ice eggs dark eggs stuff like that so this base is optimized for sure for being able to breed and being able to have those egg incubators at perfect temperatures so the timing will be always at a hundred percent it'll be the fastest that it possibly can be plus it is very very efficient with having the pals do the farming for you to create just a bunch of salads and cakes salads for the pals to eat and stay working harder and cakes so the breeding can take effect and you can make all those eggs the second base on my list is my mining base up here pretty common i'm sure you've seen it around the pal world community but it is at the coordinates 191 negative 37 up on this plateau right here so first off no raids will happen at this base because of its positioning which is super super nice so you don't got to worry about anything like that on top of it there is a bunch of ore as well as as coal that spawns on top of this mountain so you can continuously farm that for those pal metals as well as ingots everything like that charcoal as well so that is what i use this second base for as well as wood 
and stone farm because in this gigantic open area right below me right here next to the two crushers which i use to make the palladium fragments you can set up a couple of those farms whether it be wood or in the stone so you can really get a bunch of that very very quickly and like i said you don't need any other thing on this base just because it is not raidable so that makes it super 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 easy to have a base up here I try to have my pal box at the coordinates that I said it's on top of the little hill in the center it gets all of the ore and coal ingots in this area just make sure that you have your sleeping pads as well as the uh, spas or the hot springs so the sanity of your pals keeps up this is also where I do my refining like I said for that charcoal as well as those different type of ignits whether it be normal ingots refined ignits or those pal metal ingots which you use for that end game crafting a bunch of armor as well as your weapons now in addition to that here i also have my statue of power as well as the pal condenser which are used to get the levels up on the pals that you're working with so you use the effigies to help out your catching rate at the statue of power and then those pal souls to enhance your pals there takes a little bit not too too many for each of those when you're going through it'll only take for each of the bars there's four of them when you use the pal souls it'll take 10 pal souls for the small six for the medium and six for the large so total nothing too crazy on that 40 24 and 24 now on the other side when we use the pal condenser this uses other pals that you do not want it'll take a total of 116 to level up a pal from zero stars all the way up to four stars but when you hit that four stars all of their skills go up another level so like anubis goes from four in the handiwork up to five as well as that partner skill that it has in the guardian of the earth which allows us to do that damage with our weapons be ground and just in general it helps with the partner skills for any of those pals that you're leveling up but that is what I do here at the second base. Now, the third base that we have is for that little bit later game. You're going to need stuff to help keep you warm because we are up in the Astro Mountains at this snow base at the coordinates negative 210, positive 250. Up here, we have a bunch of the pure quartz that spawns. Six or seven of those big rocks will be able to spawn. We use these in some of that end game materials, circuit board boards, polymers, stuff like that. So this is a very good place for farming those materials. You can also get wood from the trees. Now on top of that, this is where I use my production value. So I have all my production lines for my weapons, my pal spheres, as well as for my items. And of course you gotta have those hot springs to keep your pals sanity up. Now we are also at this third base gonna have another ranch because it is super, super nice to have this ranch. You can put in a bunch of different pals just like I had at the other one with eggs and milk. You could put something here like a Vixie and a Sibilex which will drop you some high quality cloths as well as some of the pal spheres. You can use that to sell. You can throw a mouse in here to get yourself some extra gold so you don't have to go out and farm a lot of these materials. You can get gold or just have them in the ranch that's why i think it is a very very slept on thing on top of that here i got my repair as well as my pal gear crafting and my medicine just seems to fit the bill right so this is where i have all of my items that i use for crafting like that you can see in my uh shelves right here we got everything from raw mats which is all of my like pure quartz wood stone or everything like that that's here we got our building materials with sulfur wool our circuit boards and then our actual refined materials palladium fragments ingots refined ingots and those pal ignits so this right here is where we do 
all all of our production from like i said weapons to pal spheres very easy to get the materials that you need at this base but like i said caveat it does get cold here so make sure to have on that gear for me i personally got a heat resistant shirt as well as that thermal undershirt and cold resistant metal armor this helps me get to tier three resistance on all of them so when i'm running around you can see at the bottom left hand corner by my health that that little dial gauge shows how cold it is and when you have blue on the left side or orange on the right that is where your damage will start to take place but if you don't see any of those colors down there then you are good to go so just make sure you got that for this third base but that is perfect for the setup at least for me once you get to that three base setup you can get all your materials super fast throw out pals they do a lot of work obviously anubis astagon are very very good for farming and carrying the pure quartz the ore the coal around that's why i had them at that second base you can also throw them here i just don't have anything going on right now because i'm really trying to focus on that ore and breeding aspect right now to get those op pals so so that's why at the first place we got all of that for i got a couple watering a couple with the harvesting and then a couple with the planting so you can keep a full roto on those items they will always be ready for you so you can really maximize your efforts create all the ammo all the pal balls that you will need with ease as well as create those op pals like i said using the pal condenser using breeding getting all those partner skills and passive traits on them so hopefully you guys enjoy this kind of content a little long there but three bases very very important for this game especially to optimize that ability to make all of those items so appreciate all you guys we're going to be going back and forth between pal world and destiny content for the next couple of weeks here so hopefully you guys appreciate all these videos like i appreciate you so i will catch you guys in the next one peace